Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today we'll be talking about multiples. I'm going to let you guys try these questions and then we'll answer them together. Our definition for multiples is when two integers are multiplied, we get a third integer and that third integer is called a multiple. This basically means 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So 18 is our multiple. And 3 and 6 are known as our factors. Another example would be 2 into 5, which is 10. And so this is our multiple. Now, based on this, I have a question for you guys. Is 22 a multiple of 5? And the answer for this would be no, because we know that they, they aren't divisible. 22 divided by 5 gives us a decimal. What would be a multiple of 22 would be 2, oh my bad, what, 2 into 11 are factors of 22, and 22 is our multiple. Now let's try this question. If x is a multiple of y, then that also means x is divisible by y. Is that true or false? Now, let's try to write this out. Let's take two integers, z into y, and this equals to x, and where x is our multiple. And if I divide both sides, by y, then we get z is equal to x over y. So if x is a multiple of y and also is divisible by y, that means that x divided by y has to give us an integer, which it does. And so it, this statement is true. The next question is, is 0 a multiple of every integer? And my first instinct would have been to say no, but that's false. And let me show you why. Let's take 3 into 6 is 18. Now, we know that 18s are a multiple. Now let's try 3 times 0. That's 0. 4 times 0? That's 0 as well. 100 times 0? That's 0 as well. And this proves that 0 is a multiple for every integer. And even if I put this in the perspective of variables, for example, z into y is equal to x, and let's put z as 0, 0 into y is always going to be 0, which once again proves that 0 is a multiple for every integer. Now, this question says, are multiples and factors the same? And I'm going to say, no, they aren't. But why is that? Let's once again take the example of 3 into 6 is equal to 18. Now, we all know that 18 is our multiple. But if we take 3 and 6, 3 times 6 is 18, which gives us a multiple, but individually, they are factors. And clearly, 3, 6, and 18 are not the same number, so they aren't the same. Thanks for watching this lesson. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, Algebra Star, or visit algebrastar.com. Once again, thanks. Stay safe.